Hello everyone. Today I will discuss assignment two, Python for data science. And in the assignment is cross validated with the help of Spider ID, so that you can be sure that the accuracy of the assignment is hundred percent. First question, which will be the output of the following and uh, when I executed this command on my spider ID the correct option is this one that is B so you can see on the right side this is the correct way question second let T1 is equal to this one and T2 is equal to this one which of the following will not give any error after the execution so I put uh, in my spider ID T1 T2 and T1 dot append 5 so only this one uh, this option is giving the error because a tuple object has no attribute append and in rest of the command there is no execution error therefore question is which of the following will not give any error so b c d e these are the option which will not give you any error and because it is multi select type question so you have to select multiple answer so b c d e will be the correct answer only t1 dot append 5 will give you the error because tuple has no attributes append question number three let d1 is equal to this one which among the following will not give the error after the execution so when i executed all this command in my spider so only this one x is equal to d1 0 this will giving the error key error equal to 0 so the correct answer will be a c and d because it is multi-select type question so more than one option can be correct so answer will be a c and d question 4 s1 is equal to this s2 is equal to this s1 dot add 4 s2 dot add 4 and it is uh, uh, in string form so what will be the correct output that is s1 minus s2 so in spider id i put s1 is equal to this one s2 is equal to this one again s1 dot add the same command and after that i print that command that is print s1 and after the printing s1 the output will be 1 2 3 4 in the same way s2 dot add 4 and when i print this command then output will be 3 5 6 4 and again which will be the output of s1 minus s2 then i print s1 minus s2 the correct answer will be 1 2 4 so the correct answer is 1 2 4 option D question 5 s1 is equal to hello and s2 is equal to world and double uh, quoted which of the following will not return hello word when I executed all this command in my spider IDE then option A option B and option C all are executing uh, all are returning the hello word but when I executed uh, command number 4 that is s1 uh, minus 1 plus s2 minus 1 in this case it is not returning hello word so the question is which of the following will not return hello word so this is the correct option that is uh, option d given a numpy array and uh, this find the correct command from the following option to get an output of array 16 24 16 so i put all this command uh, array then i print the array when i print the array the answer uh, is this one again print array 1 colon 2 in this case uh, my answer is this one 3 7 6 uh, when i put the command print np dot sum array x is 0 x is 0 in this case the correct answer is 16 24 and 16 which is the required result so option uh, which one is the correct correct option is np sum array x is 0 and after that uh, x is equal to 1 in this case option will be 20 16 
20 it may be in the final question instead of x is equal to 0 it will be there x is equal to 1 it means in this case we uh, we have to add column wise and uh, otherwise we have to add uh, row wise so <clears throat> when x is will be 0 answer is 16 that is 1 3 12 sum of 1 3 12 24 sum of 9 7 8 16 10 plus 6 plus 0 so in this case when x is will be equal to 0 then we have to sum column wise but when x is equal to 1 we have to add row wise 1 plus 9 plus 10 that is 20 3 plus 7 plus 6 that is 16 and 12 plus 8 plus 0 that is 20 so when x is will be equal to 0 then we have to add column wise when x is will be equal to 1 then we have to add uh, row wise and in the last option np dot sum then all the elements will be added so correct option will be np dot sum array x is equal to 0 so only in this case uh, we will get the uh, desired result question number 7 matrix is equal to this one mat 1 this one mat 2 this one print mat 2 so what will be the output of the above command and uh, when I executed all this command then correct answer is this one that is 5 1 9 10 2 2 5 4 1 3 9 8 2 4 6 8 so option C will be the correct question 8 student name Jane age 25 course math and statistics which of the following will return so uh, after that we have to add phone 1 2 3 uh, 4 5 6 so it is a multi select type question so student dot update age 26 and uh, phone 1 2 3 4 student phone 1 2 3 phone and student dot update age 24 so both these options are the correct which will return the uh, this one because in the original question we have to update um, age 26 and phone number and phone number so out of them these are the two options which are correct C is equal to NP dot arrange start 1 stop 20 step is equal to 3 it means uh, we are going to start our array from 1 and after interval of 3 and up to 20 so 1 3 1 4 7 10 13 16 19 and what is C5 C5 means uh, we have to start from 0 uh, index number 0 1 2 3 4 5 so 16 is the correct answer so option B is equal to 16 question 10 which of the following data type is immutable uh, tuple is immutable that in tuple we can't uh, change the value but in case of li uh, list we can change so tuple is the correct way uh, correct answer in uh, data type which are uh, which is immutable so thank you guys uh, next assignment will be one week prior to the submission date and you are requested to uh, update uh, subscribe the channel if possible thank you so much